what's going on everybody this is Chris Boardwine with Davie County Diggers we're gonna do just a really short video today we're gonna to talk not necessarily even about metal detecting but about uh, looking at some of the things that you find when you get them back into the house and uh, if you're like me when I hit 40 uh, my eyes kinda of took a nose dive and my vision went way downhill real quick so I ended up having to get glasses and uh, sometimes seeing detail on my relics uh, is a challenge for me so I've experimented with a couple different things. I've, I've had magnifying glasses, I've had jeweler's loops, uh, you name it, I've just about tried it. And uh, I've been kind of looking around and wanted to come up with something even a little bit stronger. So I purchased a pluggable USB uh, microscope. It goes up to 250 times magnification. And I just got it in the other day, I've been messing around with it today. And I wanted to show you guys, maybe maybe you'll think it's neat, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, the price point on the uh, microscope is 40 bucks from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description, so you can't really go wrong with the price. Um, so with that, let me show you how it works, and uh, you can make a decision for yourself about whether or not you think it's something that's cool. All right, hang on just a second. All right, so you can see this is the setup. Everything that you see here comes with the, with the unit. Uh, one of the things that I really did like about this was the price point. Um, this particular uh, pluggable USB microscope only cost me $40 on Amazon, and I thought that was money well spent. Uh, a lot of the jeweler's loops that I have purchased in the past were almost that much, and I think that this is going to do a lot better for me than what they did. So basically, you got a board that it comes with, and then the, uh, the device uh, attaches to this with a, um, a suction cup, and then you've got your cable that goes to the USB. Um, one of the neat things is that you, if you see right here, these attachment points on both sides, it just pops out. So if you needed to move that microphone, or excuse me, that microscope around, uh, it is mobile in the fact that it can do that. So I like that. Um, you've got a uh, manual focus right here, and then this adjusts the light. And I'll show you that when we get started. Um, so with, with that, let's go ahead and turn it on and you can actually see how it works. All right, guys, well, I got the laptop and the um, USB microscope all fired up. The first coin I'm gonna throw up there and show you is a modern day clad dime. I figured it would be the coin that has the uh, smallest numerals and lettering on it. So I'm bringing this into focus a little bit here for you. There's Mr. Roosevelt. There's the date on the coin. Obviously, we got a 2000 Philadelphia Mint coin. Uh, I mentioned to you before that there's a manual focus adjust, which you can see I'm kind of messing with here a little bit. Get right to where I want it. And then there's also a selector on top that will um, increase or decrease the light coming off the unit. It's got a little light attached to it. So there's no light. And there's full light. Obviously, the full light's going to put a little glare to it, but I also think it helps um, see what you're looking at. So, if you're a coin roll hunter, somebody that's looking for double die strikes or errors, mint errors, this might be a really good tool for you. Uh, I think it gives you a lot of good definition. Matter of fact, I was watching a coin roll video from Rob Finds Treasure, and this is how I got. Uh, introduced to this product and I was watching several of his videos and I thought man I'd really like to have that I thought that the price point was just gonna be more than what I wanted to sink into it so to find out that it was only $40 um, that made me pretty happy so pretty pretty modern coin let's go ahead and throw up a little bit of an older coin This is an Indian head penny that I've been working on just a little bit. It's not in great shape, but it's it's cleaned up reasonably well. Uh, you can see the shield there. But you know, if if your goal was to get a little clarity and detail in the date off this coin, this product here works great. If you're cleaning a coin, this might also tell you that you know along this left edge here, I've got a little more dirt to work on with my Andres pencils. So I'm not affiliated with this company at all. I just think that it's good for us in the metal detecting community if we find a uh, product out there that could benefit all of us to let everybody know about it. So I'll throw a link in the description. Um, if you have another way at home that you use to 
look at clarity and definition on your relics. I'd love to hear about it. Um, this is Chris Boardwine with Davie County Diggers. I appreciate you watching. I'm going to have a few more videos out here soon. I've been doing a lot of metal detecting uh, here lately. So if you haven't already done it, do me a favor, hit like and subscribe and tell a friend. Heck, we'd like to have more people on the channel. So happy hunting. We'll talk to you soon. I can't get my head above these parts. I'm down to my last dollar. I keep spending my whole life.